man y'all see this we are gonna actually apply this tip or trick to a real world repair crack that top bolt or plug first let's get it out oh man it's up in there pretty darn good okay so we got it cracked or should I say loose? And then we gonna crack the bottom one. Uh, 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 ooh, that was a toughie. Slowly take this bolt out. Man, that fluid looks, looks clean. But remember guys, y'all paid attention to the short. We have a leak. It's not too bad right now, but. Oh, it got stuck. Let's knock it down. There we go. Take a peek at the plug. Doesn't have a whole lot of metal on it, so I think we're good. All right, let's get on with this uh, axle seal replacement. Might replace the whole axle, y'all see why. Looks like we got some good lighting. So first thing, we're gonna take off the caliper. What the? Dang. I totally missed that. Wow. And then I don't know if anybody noticed when I pulled that other axle off, nobody freaking caught this. And I am very surprised because I did it on purpose. Okay, I'm starting to do some things in my shorts on purpose to gain attraction so we could get some uh, subs but I did this with the caliper I let it hang nobody freaking batted an eye which I was very very surprised at let's take off the brake pads yep and these ones aren't saturated like the other ones What we got here? Who's ready to donate me a uh, <laughs> a cart? I seriously need one already. But I, like I said before, I don't want to buy it before I do my giveaway. Now that 40k guys came up real quick so rather than doing two separate giveaways what i'm actually going to do i'm gonna have two good two good prizes on the giveaway and then uh the rest of the stuff now this is this won't happen until i get uh this month's oh, until i get may's um adsense check so this will be towards the end of june so we're gonna we're gonna do a, a couple good giveaways like i said and then i want to give a do a giveaway for the members as well how do i approach this let's do because this whole plate's gonna come out with it I'm going to spray this down get some of the oils off kind of overfilled this sure shot I made a mess on top top pad bottom pad already fell out I need 
need to take this apart. Flip this over. Let the little ah, come on. There we go. That little piece fall out. It's a very important piece. That's what locks the cable to the mechanism. Now, <clears throat> nope. Oh, this don't look fun. Yeah. I gotta take the speed sensor out. Unbolt this block here. Yeah. Now this should be dry. Oof. Not dry. Shit, I didn't even know there was an O-ring right there. <laughs> Looks like I'll be replacing that at my own expense. I have a whole selection of O-rings. Now I'll get those out. I believe those are 17s. Are they 15s? No, they're 17s on this one. Let's Ow! Need to remember that this e-brake block has a washer on it. Or I could just ow, put it together like that. I just knock my head. Now, if y'all are wondering why I actually drain the diff, uh, it's because I'm doing a service on it. I know you don't have to drain the differential to remove this axle assembly, but I'm doing a service on it at the same time. So, all right, I'm gonna yank it. Nope, yank it. Nope. Oh, there we go. And it came out. That's without me having to use a puller. I don't need a puller for this one. Ah. So as y'all can see, we do have the seal inside right there. Now, why don't I just replace the seal? Remember, I told you there's a reason why I'm replacing this axle assembly, All right? Well, let me show y'all. So after time, you know, that rubber will become harder than steel, okay? And uh, that could cause some, some problems. Well, see this part right here? That seal has already eaten into the metal or into the shaft. So I could simply replace the but seal. It will end up leaking again. And the only way to get rid of that, that wear right there, is to replace the shaft assembly. Okay, remember, I showed y'all in a short that I have a whole axle assembly right here. So I do need, y'all see how the, if this one doesn't have the plate and the other one has a plate? So I'll be uh, taking care of that. So with the shaft, I'll be replacing the seal. And then there's a rubber O-ring right here. Y'all saw it move right there. That gets replaced as well. Y'all stay tuned. I'm going to knock this piece down. Okay. And then uh, rebuild the axle and I'll get back to y'all in a second. All right, guys. So let me do this real quick. Y'all see, I have an axle out of this rear axle housing, right? Now there's a reason. Y'all see all this stuff? The axle seal is leaking. But I'm not just doing the axle seal. I'm doing the whole axle. Y'all see this right here. Y'all see this wear mark, right? Okay, that wear mark is where the axle seal is actually leaking. Now, I could just replace the axle seal, but guess what? Because of that worn in, it's going to leak again. So, y'all see that notch? I have another notch on the other side. Now, this is something I do not recommend to a DIYer. Why? Well, we got to get a little crazy. So. Now, why did I have to do that? I had to split this to get it off of the shaft because there's a snap ring right under here. I'm gonna take the snap ring off, pull this thing off, and then I'll be able to rebuild the new axle. I gotta get this plate and this plate because the new axle doesn't come with it. Then at the dealer, we have some pretty unique tools. And just like that, 
we have ourselves a broken down axle. Hope y'all enjoyed that quick little short I put together. Y'all probably already seen it. But, so, we have this, uh, this whole thing taken apart, man. It took me a while to get this put together because I was forgetting. I legit forgot how to put this together. I was like, what? Had to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. See, because that ring, and I forgot this pipe. Yeah. It's just, it's weird. But this tool, if you know how to use it, works very freaking good. So as y'all can see, we have a spacer. Did he get me a spacer? Anyways, we have a spacer, a washer, and then of course, the bearing, which is this whole plate, which I have to press that plate out also. Man, this thing was nasty. All right, guys, let me go. Actually, let me show y'all the other side of this. So there's the other side of the axle. Y'all can see why I had to do some special stuff. I should not be rolling that around. I need to reuse those studs. Oh, that reminds me, I gotta knock those studs out. So use a bronze hammer. Oh no. Dang it. Ow. Crush my finger. Come on now. Oh, this thing got all boogered. But yeah, basically we gotta reuse this. As I pull the studs in, it'll reshape it. Why, I don't know. I'll be back. Okay, sorry if this thing is a little shaky, but this is something I always complicate. I, I always make this overcomplicated, okay? I've, I've never had good luck with this style of seal. So, bear with me, y'all. Woo! <laughs> God, this this thing kind of sucks. This tool. Yeah, I can't grab on it. Ah! We're supposed to have something that goes in there, spreads, and pulls out. Ah! I have nothing like that. I need to order me one. That's what I need to do. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go to old trusty, what I'm used to. Ow. Ugh. This just ain't working. It's almost there. Almost there, guys. Come on. Come on. It's almost there. Hey, I just realized. That's made by Mayhew. <laughs> Still sucks. Might have got it. Yeah, I got it. Okay, cool. So my whole point was to try to split this seal without causing any damage. To the sealing surface. So this is usually how I do it. Now it don't help that I'm kind of in a hurry as well. It hit me in the tooth. I wish I could use that other tool that I have. I'm trying not to. Ah, there we go. Ah. Whew. Got it out, y'all. 
Got it out. Damn, that was some work. So let me uh, clean it up so y'all can see. I was hitting right here. Okay, now these little nicks, not too worried about. What I am worried about is this surface right here. Okay, because that's where the seal actually butts up against. Up against. Okay, not worried about that piece either. Y'all will see why. All right, sit tight. So you got 13 across it? No! No! Oh my God, dude. This is annoying. Apparently not. I think this thing needs a IPDA. Because apparently our special tools are not so special. All right. All righty. All righty. All right. Just slip this in right quick. Then. Hold it there. Huh? Am I? I'm going to what? Why is that? Don't play me like that. <laughs> Alright. Bottomed out. Beautiful. Had a lot to do on it. There we go. It is fully seated. Yeah. So remember guys, okay, y'all see the little nicks on the side. Not too worried about that, like I said, because it's on the outer side. Now here's the seal like that, right? Okay, so there's nothing. Remember that little part that was nicked on the inside, on the flat piece? Not worried about it, because there's nothing, literally nothing that holds, that, that covers it. No, it's completely exposed. So I'm gonna put the axle back in and uh, Hopefully I'll be done with this. Oh, don't forget, I need to put that seal on that O-ring. Shit. Now, as y'all can see, the new piece right there. Okay, and remember, I told y'all about this plate. So it goes flush once you get all the uh, things in there, all right? So let me mount back up. We'll put that O-ring and we'll put this in because I got to get going. O-ring like that shaft yeah yeah Get in there. <sighs> oh, it's gonna play with me right now. No one I have to get going. It's going. It's going to play with me. What the hell? my reluctor wheel is just coming off like what the freak oh uh -uh. that's not supposed to happen look at that how it just free wheels no hell no well that is a no bueno okay so we tried putting it on the old one does the same thing so there could only be one possible thing that ABS exciter ring, the reluctor wheel, it uh, it's not agreeing with this vehicle or this axle. It meaning it was manufactured wrong. Uh, so that being said, guys, I gotta wait for tomorrow to get a new one. Uh, y'all could do me a favor, <laughs> please. 
check these videos out right here subscribe right there join the fm fam down below and i will update y'all in another video deuce I'm losing it, the noose if it's some loose shit, a stupid myth. You choose to live or choose to dip, you choose to fight or lose your grip and lose a gift. Oh. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Cause everybody in the world.